Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another food restaurant review video. I love doing food restaurant review videos because I get to test out all these restaurants and let you guys know if it's good or not. Today, I'm going to a restaurant that I've always wanted to go. For those of you who watched my previous video, I went to Paris, France back in January. I've always missed the food I ate at France. I was searching online and I found this place in Providence, Rhode Island. It's called Port A Way. Not sure if my pronunciation is good or not, but I'm, I tried. I tried. I really tried. Right now, I'm gonna head over there and test out their food. One thing I wanted to say though, the downside of this restaurant right off the bed is there is no valet parking for this restaurant, so it was, it's pretty tough finding parking spot at downtown Providence. I guess the restaurant is actually underground. And you got a little Franz flag right here. And this restaurant only opens during the weekend. I like the vibe in here a lot. Look at the renovation. And this restaurant has a lot of history to it. The restaurant feels very cozy. Each table you kind of get like a separate area and each area you got like all these wines on the side. There are empty bottles though. I have to say though, it is pretty small in this area so every time I try to get out to go to the bathroom it is kind of hard. <laughs> After looking at the menu, they really have the traditional fronts dishes you know you got the snails you also got the foie gras which is my favorite i'm definitely gonna try the foie gras and they also got angus beef marinated in red wine that's what i'm gonna get i like how they put specialty de la mason like telling you what's like their specialty dishes also got like fish and seafood their seafood pot is crazy look at all that seafood that it comes with They got a bit of a background history of the restaurant right on here. 1972, it's the oldest French bistro in America. Also, when you guys saw me walking in the restaurant, they got the upstairs and downstairs section, which we're in the downstairs right now. But upstairs, they actually host jazz evenings, wine dinners, cooking classes, all kinds of celebration. It actually happened to me. When you guys are in this restaurant, be careful with this wooden board. If you like push your chair back, that board is not locked. So on the back, there's people with also the glasses on the wall. It's gonna knock all their glasses down. Of course, the first thing I gotta do is try out the actual bread they give. The second I hold it, I can feel it's hot and warm because they cover it in cloth when they bring it up, I guess to trap the heat. Also came with, I'm not sure if this is butter or cheese, so let's try it out. I spread some of this, not sure butter or cheese on the bread. The bread is very crunchy and the butter, it is still salted but not a lot of salt. Very creamy. The taste of the butter comes out after I actually taste the bread, which is pretty cool. Different. I miss these snails since I left Paris very much. I'm so happy and glad that I found this place. This is the foie gras. Just like Paris, it's not seared. What you gotta do is use this tool and clam right at the snail and then you just use the fork and poke it out. You see how I pull it out? I like how on the escargot, the snail, they don't put too much seasoning on it. It's like a very light butter and garlic taste and you can really taste the snail when you bite into it. Definitely my favorite dish from Paris, France, was the foie gras. Always my favorite. It is kind of high on fat and cholesterol, but whatever, man. Bread with the foie gras on top and some raspberry sauce. No, I would say this is definitely the best foie gras I've eaten in the US. Like, no joke. All the main dishes comes with salad and we added chopped blue cheese on top. 
For the salad, they also bring you two sauce. One is the mustard, one is the raspberry. I like the container a lot. It looks pretty cool. I tried both sauce. Honestly, I like the raspberry more than the mustard. They charge a dollar for adding chopped blue cheese on top of your salad. I personally would add it because it tastes pretty good. With it, feel free to comment down below and let me know when you guys eat salad. Do you guys like raspberry or mustard? This is my course, which is the Angus beef with red wine. It's one of their signature course here. I'm definitely gonna try it out and see how it goes. This course is pretty cool. They got the truffle Oreos french fries on the bottom with steak and then with foie gras on top. This is lamb shank. Looks pretty good. This is one of the pot a four with seafood. We've got lobster, all kinds of seafood, clams, and every portion here is pretty nice. You're not gonna get too full, but it's definitely enough, which is typical, you know, all French restaurant is kind of small portion. Wow, the Angus beef is actually very soft. Didn't even have to cut into it. The second I put the fork in, it's already there. When I ordered this, I told them I want medium, but they said it's just cooked through. Basically, it's like braised Angus beef. It's like soft, it's very tender. Wow, the red wine sauce is like perfect. It got a little taste of sour towards the end, but very strong red wine taste. It's like really cooked through. On the side right here, there's this like, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like potato with cream and cheese. There's cheese burnt up top. This cheese over potato tastes very well. It got cream inside and the top is burnt, so it got like a bit of a crispiness. Very good dish. No wonder why they said this is one of their main recommended plate. The weird thing about this is it looks very small when it came up, but when I'm like finishing it, I'm actually very full. Layered everything. I like that the owner of the restaurant actually came around to greet everyone, so it was a very good dining experience. This is my favorite part, the dessert menu. You got like the signature French restaurant style dessert and also we got espresso martini coffee and tea <laughs> i'm not sure if you guys see this on the top two dessert right here they also got the quote straight from the magazine the creme brulee here new york times said it's delectable <laughs> I, I don't even know what that word means this pot de chocolate wickedly intense so we're definitely gonna order these two and try it out. Me and my wife was like, how could they charge $15 for a creme brulee? Of course, it looks like a pretty big portion. It's like usually double the size of what you will see. This is actually very tiny. It's the pot de chocolate. Basically, it's chocolate and with whipped cream on top. Not sure if it's gonna taste any difference. Let's try them out. I would say creme brulee has always been my favorite dessert. Any restaurant I go to, as long as they offer it, Let's see if this is different. You hear this? Very crust top. Wow, it's a very thick piece of brown sugar burnt. Tastes very different compared to the regular creme brulee I try. On the bottom, it tastes more like cream than egg. Not very sweet, even though it's a thick layer of brown sugar. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I think it's perfect. Still not sure what this is, you know? It's just pot de chocolate. It must have something to do with chocolate. Something hard inside, and now my spoon is stuck. The whipped cream up top tastes very good though. It's not sweet, very milky, creamy taste. The bottom is like melted chocolate, but they're not melted. It's actually frozen and mixing with this cream It actually came up with an exceptional Incredible taste I would say I've never tried any dessert like this. It's crazy No wonder why they say this is wickedly insane the best part of the video of course We're at the end of the meal. Let's guess how much the bill is came up three hundred and four dollar Well, let's say three hundred and five dollar for four people. That's with Three appetizers, four entrees, and two dessert. Honestly, I would say the price is pretty good. I personally would say it's worth it. It is a higher price range than the restaurants will find in bronze, but we're in the US, so that's a bit different. Still below 100 bucks a person, so that's not too bad. I would definitely say this is definitely one of the best French restaurant I've been in the US. Every dish is perfect portion, perfect taste. The only thing I would say is though, the escargot, I wish they put a bit more flavor to it. Definitely come try it out. I'm gonna put the address of the restaurant in the description area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, please smash that subscribe button. Also, let me know how you feel. Peace.